Hey guys, back again with another uh, mini craft kit. This time the 144th uh, TU22 M3 Backfire C kit. So let's open her on up. So, as you can see, it's not a super big kit, but it does a fair job of rendering the subject pretty well. Uh, detailing in the panel lines is nice. Um, the overall look of the kit is good. Um, fortunately, you only get one missile. Uh, I do know it can carry up to three of these, but the kit unfortunately only gives you one, though it does give you the uh, weapon pylons, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, on this sprue, we've got part of the fuselage have, as well as one set of intakes. Uh, there is no uh, cockpit detailing on the side walls, and cockpit itself is um, pretty limited, just parasites, and that's really it. But given the scale, that's understandable. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm dealing with the after effects, a bit of a cold. Um, Continuing on, uh, we got our next fuselage have, as well as the landing gear and wheels. Uh, the wheels themselves are pretty uh, lacking in detail, but as, again, it's a 144th scale kit, so there's not a whole lot to see there. Uh, we also have the little part for working the variable geometry wings, our two weapon pylons. Well, as our nose gear doors and main gear doors, uh, both are lacking in detail as well. Again, though, it is scale, I think it can be forgiven a little. Uh, we got also our exhaust nozzles, and these are pretty poorly done. Uh, uh, definitely might want to look into replacing those with something a little nicer. Next up, we've got our two wing halves, or not wing halves, full wings. Uh, detailing is very nice, uh, sharp and crisp, clear register. Um, fortunately, no way to drop flaps if you wanted to position it in that manner. But again, don't see why you'd want to. Uh, we also have our elevators, nicely done as single piece. Continuing on, we've got our lower fuselage part, as well as a couple attachment points for the upper parts of the wing roots. As I mentioned, you only have uh, capacity for a single missile on this kit, which is a little disappointing. <coughs> uh, decals are very nicely done. Uh, they're sharp and crisp in register. Uh, Get options for two um, arcings, one for a Russian aircraft and one for a Ukrainian. Oh, I almost forgot the clear parts. Now, the clear parts, uh, the two side windows are fine, look the part. At uh, this point, in, though, in the main cockpit window, um, it's really thick and you get a lot of optical. Oops, a lot of optical anomalies looking through it, um, mainly just due to the fact it is a little on the thicker side. But again, you're not going to see a whole lot of detail in the cockpit simply due to the fact that it gets really tiny. Still, it would have been nice. Moving on to the instructions. Uh, assembly is... Pretty simple, um, there's not a too terrible lot to do, which is nice. Should make it a quick and easy build. Um, although, overall, there's not a whole lot to say as far as issues that might come up. It's Thankfully, it's a little bit of a shake and bake kit. Now, uh, you're given, as I said, marking options for two kit uh, uh, aircraft, uh, a Russian one, and a Ukrainian one. Now, on the Ukrainian one, they were a little vague on the uh, decal. It 
it almost seems like it wants you to decal over one or the other. It's a little confusing how they worded it. Overall, though, um, I gotta say this, in comparison to the uh, lightning kit we did last time, looked at a little bit ago, this is a nice, refreshing change. Um, <clears throat> it seems like to me that Minicraft does a pretty decent job with larger scale subjects, you know, like the B24, this, you know, they do a good job rendering larger body aircraft as opposed to stuff like the P38 uh, that we saw a little bit ago. Overall though, I do recommend this kit. It's an interesting subject. They did a pretty good job rendering. There's a couple of minor detail issues, but they can be overlooked. So yeah, that was a look at Minicraft's uh, 1144 scale TU-22M3 Backfire C-Bomber. Until next time.